Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to use file history in Windows 11 to back up your personal files. This will also apply to Windows 10. We're just going to be doing it on a Windows 11 computer. So in order to use it, you're going to need some kind of secondary drive. Um, it could be a secondary hard drive, a USB drive, a large flash drive. That's have to kind of, you know, be stayed plugged into your computer. So the only problem with using a secondary internal hard drive like we have on this computer here is of course if the computer bursts into flames then you're going to lose your backup too where if you have an external drive then you could always you know take it away and then plug it in you know later to back up again so once you have your second drive here so this one has nothing on it so you could type in a search for file history best way to get to it it's also in control panel you want to just go to control panel so right now it's turned off and so it's what it's found the drive here, the E drive. So copy files from libraries, desktop, contacts, and favorites. And then there's restore, there's select drive if you want to pick a different drive. We only have this one. You can do a network location too if you have your computer on the network. You could exclude folders if you have some folders that are large and you don't want to have backed up. And there's some advanced settings as to how often it copies it every hour from every 10 minutes to daily you know depending on how often you change stuff you might want to bump this up so your backup's not getting too big and then keep saved versions default is forever so you could change it until space is needed and you can one month and it'll just remove the older versions and then just keep the newer versions so that's up to you too okay so we're going to turn this on here All right, so right now it's running. So now it's saving copies of your files for the first time. So if we go to this E drive, I'm not sure if it'll be there yet. So there's the file history folder, username, computer name, configuration folder, data folder. So, the, so far it's doing the downloads, the links, and the save games folder. And then configuration is nothing you need to worry about. So you just want to go to the data folder here. So as that runs, it'll you know start to fill that up. And if you want to come back, you could turn it off here. So I'm going to let that run, and then we'll come back and uh, see what it looks like after it does a backup, and see what the restore personal files option will do. All right. Okay. So file history has been running for a little bit. So if we go back to that external drive, we have the file history folder, the username, computer name, data, C drive, users username and then you have all these other folders which are now getting populated within this backup drive you know the typical desktop documents downloads favorites that kind of stuff so you wouldn't necessarily come here to restore the files you want to do it from here so to do so you go to restore personal files within file history and that'll bring up the date and then you could go back and forth uh, different dates for different backups by using these buttons so let's say we have this list text file here let's say it got deleted or corrupted or you wanted to go back to an older version so let's say that's gone. Uh, we just need to go to desktop. So here's that file. Click on it. Click on the restore to original location. It'll put it there and then it'll also up, open up a new window with that file so it'll kind of take you right to it. Now let's say you wanted to restore a file that's already there. So let's do this meeting schedule. It's already there so if we click on restore you get an option to replace the files with the backup file, skip it, or compare info for both files. If you do that, then you can kind of see which one's bigger, which one has what date, and then you can choose the one you want. But these are you know, identical, so it's going to look exactly the same. So that's another option you could do, too. So, like I said, it's pretty simple to use. Um, all you got to do is do a search for file history, or you could find it in Control Panel under File History, and then just turn it on, make sure you have your proper drive selected and then just you know set your settings for how often you want it to run and how often you how long you want it to retain files and all that other good stuff and then you'll have your backup running all right thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe